Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ellen and in today's video I will do the second part of this year's Halloween series. And this week's video or tutorial will be inspired by the story The Rat Catcher in the Hamel. If you don't know what story that is, it is like an old story that have been told for many many years and then like the Grimm brothers like wrote it down I guess or something like that. But yeah, um, this story is about a rat catcher <laughs> and he played his flute and when he played his flute the rats came with him. But one day, I don't know if he like accidentally did this or if he did it on purpose, so the childs instead are coming after him, so a full town of children will go after him and he will go into a cave and the children will follow after him and then it will be gone. <laughs> but I was uh, thinking of that this story um, like behind uh, this week's t tutorial will be that um, I'm one of the childs that have been lost in a cage but I can't come back. I think that would be very interesting. If you want to see that, just keep on. Okay, so I will start with the base and the first thing I'm doing is to put a concealer over my pimples and then I will go in with a BB cream and put it all over my face. I will go in with a concealer and put it in places where I want more coverage. Then I will set it all with some powder. Then I will lightly fill in my eyebrows with some eyeshadow. Now I will start to put down where I want to have some scratches, so I will take a yellow eyeshadow and put it on my nose and on my cheekbone. To give it more depth, I will take a dark red eyeshadow and put it where I put the yellow eyeshadow. Now I will make my face look a little bit dirty and kind of like tired and I will do that with a grey brownish eyeshadow. Then I will go back to the scratches with a red eyeshadow and put like lines just to give it even more depth. Then once again I will go back to my face with an even darker brown grayish eyeshadow and just make it look even more dirty and tired. And now it's time for the fake blood and I will put this both where I want it the scratches, but also a little bit all over the face. Around here I decided that I wanted to have a bruise on my forehead so I will just blend out the fake blood and then I will put yellow and blue eyeshadow over it. The last 
last step for this look is just to intensify the grey brownish eyeshadow. And then I'm actually done. I will just put my hair up in two messy braids and then it's time for some awkward posing. look took like very quick and it's very easy to do and I think it would again I think also this would work for a lot of things not only the last child <laughs> in um, the rat catcher in the Hamilt I think it will work for a lot of different looks so yeah uh, I hope you like this video and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel yeah I hope I see you in my next video Bye.